All right, we're back over here at the drill press. I'm not sure if I've shown this yet or not. Um, I'm recording two videos at once, so that's making it kind of hectic. Um, did one on making this jig, and the other one is on me making cheese slicers. So this one is going to be for the cheese slicer video. Um, this is my little mini cutting board here. This is a mini autumn board. Just fits with the kind of fall colors and stuff like that. So that's where the name came from. Um, right now I'm just looking to see which side I want to have the slicer on. And I think I want it to be this side. And the slot will be cut right here. So that means I need the hole right there. I'll come over, put that in there. Toggle the clamp in, and let me verify it's on center. It looks like it's centered up. Put the drill press on, and we'll drill our hole. And that's that. This jig took me about 30 minutes to make, maybe. Probably a little bit more because I was filming it. But gets us our quarter inch hole for the cheese slicer. Drilled perfectly vertical. And now I just need to make sure that I come in three inches off of this edge here and put my slice right here on this face. Because that's the reason why I'm making another one of these. Because I just cut one on the wrong side and the hardware kit only goes one direction. So, I'll put this somewhere inside the video, hopefully in the right spot. Alright, we're over here at the table saw now and I'm going to start putting the grooves into these cheese slicers. And you need to make sure... That you put them in the right spot so the hole is drilled here and the way the hardware works the slot has to be right here don't ask me how i know that the hardware is one direction only not saying that i've done it but i've done it so we'll make sure that the face we want is down and we will come up here to our blade and verify with the saw off and unplugged that the blade will not cut any deeper than the depth of the hole. So I need to lower this down just a touch. Alright, so let me come over here and plug my saw back in. And come back over here and slide it up against the block I have it set for three inches that's the size or that's how far over you need the slot to be when you're using the large cheese slicer kit so we'll fire up a saw and take our slice <laughs>
All right, so we've made our cut in all of these, and I'll pan us back over that way so I can show you how they go together. All right, so now that we're over here at the bench, um, yeah, the reason why I bring up that you can, in fact, cut these damn things the wrong way is that the one that I tested off camera, I cut the wrong way. And the handle will only go the one way for it to work right. I mean, it would still work this way, but the handle itself was upside down. So there's nobody to blame for that but ourselves. So we'll take this board and we'll throw it to the side. We might make it into something else. Who knows? I can always cut it shorter. Or it could make some neat segmented turning blanks for pins or something like that. So, when you open your hardware kit, this is what it comes with. It comes with the arm itself, it comes with the wire and the handle, and it also comes with a little Phillips headset screw. So, to assemble these, you take your board that you have your cut in three inches from the end, and you put the arm in the quarter inch hole and I don't know if y'all be able to see that there the arm just has to slide in right there and we will take the wire and it has a loop on one end and we feed the arm through the loop on the wire and feed the other end of the handle into that and it just simply cams on over all right get that and we'll get our set screw ready to go and put that in. Let me get this in a way I can actually do this. And there we go. We have our slicer all assembled. Flips open, comes back closed, and more importantly, it'll slice cheese. So, you can play around. It does have a little bit of play back and forth on it, but that's it. It's really easy, really simple to do. So, we'll set that one aside, and we'll go ahead and do a few more. All right, guys, we're going to wrap this up here. These are the cheese slicers I made. Uh, I actually made these using some of my other mini cutting boards. They're six inches wide, nine inches long, three quarters of an inch thick. They have a quarter inch hole drilled five inches back from this front edge here. And it is three and seven eighths deep. And the hole is drilled on center of the board. So... Battery's getting low on the camera. So, where was I? This slot here is three inches away from this edge here. So, three inches, and then your saw kerf right here. And that lets your slicer work perfectly. And these are, again, 
the Wood River kits from Woodcraft. I uh, believe Rockler sells something similar, and a few other places do as well. Um, they are expensive for what they are, but they make great gifts around the holidays, and people love them. I mean, they really do. I went to one show and sold out of all of them that I brought that day within an hour or two. So, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and stick around for the next video because I've got some fun stuff planned. I'll see y'all guys next time.